is a walkthrough of the sections and functions on the Electronic Creditable Withholding Tax or ECWT portal. Lesson 2. The Web Page Dashboard for Preparers. On the upper left corner, you will find the names of the companies you represent. If you are handling several companies, you can click the drop-down button to select one. Below, you will see the deadline indicator. This indicates the remaining days until the last filing date for a taxable period. Underneath this would be the highlighted content. We have the dashboard for ECWT or BIR Form 2307 with numbers you can click to see. Unfiled accounts with taxes that can be withheld, filed or submitted ECWT routed for approval, approved or submitted ECWT approved by the registered company approver and sent to the payee for payment posting, and rejected or submitted ECWT disapproved by the registered company approver. Let's click this number to automatically display results for unfiled accounts. Users also have the option to change filter results by status. On the other side of the ECWT dashboard, for users who represent a government office, you will find the Dashboard for Electronic Final Withholding Value Added Tax, or EFVAT, for BIR Form 2306. The EFVAT dashboard also contains information on accounts with unfiled, filed, approved, and rejected forms. Beneath the highlighted content, you will see Request Forms, which is the main section where you can start filing ECWTs. It has the following tabs, File ECWT Form, File EFVAT Form, and Pending Bulk Submissions. The system also has Generate Report to allow you to request a summary of your transactions on the portal. The last section is Support, where you can add new users to delegate a new preparer or approver. If you find any roadblock when using the system, you can click the tab for Report Technical Issue and contact ecwt.portal at globe.com.ph. Two lessons down, five more to go. You might want to stretch first. Let's meet again in the next lesson.